oftentimes think about this process as an operating theater or theater of operations. It's how I am able to and willing to and interested in mixing together the film set, the, the artist's studio, um, the black box theater, uh, and even ideas from the scientist's lab. So how these spaces of create, creativity and culture making can sort of blend into one another and be publicly accessible, that it doesn't just have to be something that the line between done and not done or resolved and not resolved can be usefully intermingled. In the space uh, is a, a four-channel sound installation that's paired with two channels of video. Um, as you enter the space, uh, the space um, itself is sort of an S shape as seen from above. And so you can't, at first glance, you cannot see everything at the same time. And so as you enter the space, you can see one of the large projections. As you make your way into the space, you're, con you're confronted by uh, these statements, these large vinyl um, declarations. Uh, it's not quite clear you know, who the voice is exactly that's saying these. Um, they are, in fact, distilled from a libretto that I've written that's part of this experimental opera, which this piece, in fact, is. And it's uh, an extension and, an, a work, and also a work in process of this opera that I've been working on for the past, past few years. And then as you turn the corner of the, the first kind of backwards S shape, what you end up seeing is you're confronted by a, a floor to ceiling uh, mylar reflective wall. Um, because the mylar is um, warped, uh, you can be looking at it straight on and potentially see pieces of yourself and potentially not. Mylar wall is at a right angle to one of the large projections. So typically the, the sight line that you're gonna have as you turn the corner is one where the projection, which is very long, it's about a 24 foot wide projection. The projection will meet the corner of the wall and it's a little ever so slightly difficult to tell where the, the projection ends and the, the mylar begins. And part of that's because the projections themselves are these um, elaborate composites of clouds and sandstorms and uh, artificially generated clouds and other atmospheric effects that have been uh, filmed in the context of more of a, a film or theater set. And they've all kind of been uh, mixed together in a way that doesn't quite ever reveal uh, which is artificial and which is solid ground, even though it's cloud to begin with. At the same time, pieces of your own body are floating in that, that mirrored space. The mystery of that transformation being something that you can imagine how it happened. Uh, that feels very important to me as like a through line in a lot of my work. The ensemble, two of the members, Matt Sargent and Julie Licata, as well as Chris Arbuck Brown, are gonna join me here in the gallery space. We'll kind of be working with each other as that group of four for the first time. This is how I share a work in process. Oh, space has been fantastic. I mean, the, the staff uh, and the board members and the interns and the volunteers and this sort of extended family of individuals who are just, just connected in this interwoven deep way uh, have been so present um, in my time here. And I, I just really appreciate how they're both their hospitality as well as this, this real deep willingness to follow me and, and help, help me follow my own ideas. Um, you know, we chase down so many different um, potentials when you're, when you're, when I'm mapping out a project like this, a great deal of it is about um, pre-visualization and, and, you know, the, how it might work. And so, you know, just the fact that we, we worked incredibly to, to follow so many of those leads before making final decisions uh, is really great.